who are the most loved, loved companies that we, we buy from, they always have a community. If you think about Nike, they have a community around their product. If you think about Apple, they have a community around their product. So if the relationship of a brand with the people that they sell to is much closer and it's much more, you know, full circle. My biggest takeaway I suppose just meeting the other entrepreneurs, the other founders who are not in a similar position to me. Uh, this is uh, like a very difficult job to put it lightly. It's uh, it can be quite a lonely experience. So meeting other people who are going through the exact same trials and tribulations I'm going through has been, it's been great. And these are people I'm probably going to be in contact with for a while. So it'll be really, really good to see how everyone develops going forward. Perfect. So lots of networking. Yeah, loads of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From a young age, I was always very I guess curious and inquisitive about this relationship between privilege and oppression and how I had like cousins and family members back home in Ghana where I originated from who had high potential just like me as a kid but low access to opportunity and by no fault of my own I inherited this privilege by being born in London and gained access to this opportunity because I was born in London. So I was always very conscious about how I can use my increased privilege and social mobility over, over time to really provide a ladder and access to opportunity for others who have potential that could be unlocked just like mine.